Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? All right. How are you doing today, dude? Awesome. Awesome. All right. So we got to talk about the Avengers, okay, yeah. because uh, two things I didn't take into account, um, and it's it's not really a big deal, but it actually, when it came to the numbers, I was off. Well, I was off because it did less than I expected. Um, but it, it works out. All right, so let's just, let's just, first of all, let me just screen share this for everybody. So, okay. and I got a haircut, and it's done, and it looks better. And thank you, Ninja Khan. Shout out to my buddy, Ninja Khan. Yes, we have names, just like I made for two and two. Ninja Khan, thank you. All right. So, she made me look good for these podcasts. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's screen share this. All right, so right now we have one billion nine hundred and fourteen million three of uh, five hundred thirty one thousand six hundred thirty eight. Right? Yeah. Doing great. It's doing excellent. It's doing you know it's doing oh, excellent. Good. Okay. Um, when I originally was calculating my figures. Yeah. I was going as from this Friday here, if you see my cursor. Yeah. Like say a fifty percent drop, right? I didn't know it was gonna go seventy four percent drop. Whoa. Yeah. So my calculations were off. That's still okay because while it's not gonna go domestically the way I thought. Yeah. It is going to make up for it overseas because overseas, it's been the number one movie of all time in China. Sweet. And, and people go nuts over there because they feel that this is the greatest thing ever. It literally has overseas 1 billion, 400 million by itself. <laughs> now, as we know, we would like the domestic number two to be, you know, it's going to be high. It's it's gonna be high. I mean, we we would want it to be a billion. It's gonna be pretty high. Um, no way, shape, or form is there anything to worry about. I think right yeah. now, it's just one day. So, um, I do feel we're gonna reach the two billion number, um, Sunday. Because I mean, come on. In other words, say we it's more than half. Like right right now, right one oh nine. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like and and Sunday there, it's got to make at least a, a hundred million at least. Yeah. Even if you cut those two in half, I think it's going to make more than that. But again, I'm not. You know, when you calculate these things, there's all unforeseen circumstances that mm -hmm. that show up. You know, so it's like, so we're going to have to try. I honestly think it's going to be two billion, right? And I think that it is going to beat Avatar. I just don't know if it's going to beat Avatar as quickly as I thought it was going to be. But that's fine. Um, again, this movie today reached, I believe it was today, they said, it's a possibility it reached $2 billion today. You yeah. know? Um, so it could have a bigger day than expected today or tomorrow. Um, I, I really feel it's going to be Avatar. I don't know about you. It, it should. I and mean, I believe it does, too. Mm. So, we'll see what happens. Um, I, all right, I'm going to talk about what we're talking about, Scott. <clears throat> I have to address this. I, you know what? Here's the thing. I, I could say this a million times until I'm blue in the face. But I'm going to say it another time. I love doing these podcasts. I love doing news. I love giving my opinion. Okay? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I give my opinion. I give my speculation, my calculations. Yeah. I'm allowed to give my opinion, my calculations, my speculation. Yeah. I can You're do not paid by anybody to say anybody else's. Yeah, YouTube does not pay me 
to do, like, I am not a character. I am me, okay? I have a cool name, Matrix Lord 2 and 2. I am me, okay? So this ain't no, I don't read from a script. It isn't like, you know, these weird things for clickbait. Even Chris knows I don't like that, right? So I'm going to say how I feel. It's not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am not worried about fallout. I am not worried about controversy. I am not worried about anything. If I love something, I love it. If I don't, I don't. If I hate it, I hate it. If I think with my experience in comic books, in movies, that I could bring something to the table, of course I'm going to speculate. Yeah. But there are some times, and we could have friendly debates to a blue in the face. There are some times people get a little carried away. Maybe they're rubbed the wrong way. And it's so excessive that it gets when they, well, they make a comment and it's not a paragraph. It's if you translated it into a book, it would be a book. Yeah. Like today I was out doing my thing. And let me tell you something. I, you know, a lot of crazy stuff's going on in my life. And sometimes I haven't been happy. You know, it happens. You know, sometimes you see me on here. I don't shave yeah. every day. All right. You know. He's doing his thing. Well, well, so me and you are completely different. Okay? If you completely shaved, I would think something's wrong with you. Yeah. And you're not feeling okay. You're feeling weird because for you, your beard works for you. Yeah. You, that's your trademark. No, I, I was you say you don't shave every day. Right. I was double around me. Right. Around me, me, like when I don't shave, it's like. He doesn't work for Sharon. Sharon don't like beards. I enjoy. I enjoy. <laughs> The it don't listen. On you. No. Right. No. Listen, I don't need to be single. All right. I pass it along to her. Hey, what if I decide I wanted to grow like a you know master goatee? No. I, maybe I could grow a beard. No. That's like a that's a no no negotiation. <laughs> I will be single. Please you know what? Focus. I don't I don't want to be single. I love her. So I <laughs> hey. There will be no beard. Okay, but sometimes, you know, it starts to get there a little bit. She gets annoyed, too. I'm not going to kiss you with that. Like, whatever. So, listen. So, today, my friend took me out. Had a good time. Comic book thing's going on tomorrow. I know for years. So many years. Ten years, actually. Good friends. And you know what? I feel... I always said, when you get a haircut, you feel like a million bucks. Yes, you right? do. I agree. You feel like a million bucks, like you can conquer the world. All you need is a haircut. Got a nice hairstylist. Sounds like a title. But... Yeah, I. you know what? I got a nice hairstylist. I don't care. I, I have a hairstylist and I have a barber too. Whatever. Hey, you know, and I felt great. Anyway, get back to the Billy thing. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> we digress. Right, so sometimes people get... Ca Billy, you hear me? Okay. Sometimes... Billy. People get a carried away, and they're just like so. I I'm here's the thing. It's like I'm reading this, but in my it's so funny the way I feel, and then I'm reading this. So this picture like me being picture being super happy, like nobody can destroy your day, and I'm like yeah. positive, and then I'm reading. Matrix Lord, you're a hypocrite. You're a this. And I'm like, like, stop. <laughs> like, like, not even. But then, like, my smile starts going down. And I'm like, like, and it's just, wow, I'm reading a book now. It's just fine. You can write whatever you want. Man, I, I didn't realize it bothered you that much. You know, so I was telling Scott, I mean, if we did a cast on this. It might take almost minutes. an hour, hour and a half. 50 minutes, an hour, yeah. Because, I mean, we would go deep with this. I mean, I don't, I don't really want someone to be that upset with me. Like, like wow. Like, what did I do? I, I said Avengers Theory. I, I, I don't know. Like, but Scott, I never said that was, I said it was my opinion. I never yeah. said that's the way it was going to be. And then he called me out. You know how I like I don't like to mention YouTubers. Yeah. And remember when somebody mentioned a YouTuber and I'm like, ah, oh, mm -hmm. mentioned a YouTuber on here, right? And it's like, damn it, 
You called me out about that too. <laughs> like you, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not. Look, I'm not saying exactly word for word what he said, but yeah, he's like, I got some more nerve. In other words, I put down these YouTubers that create these whole concoctions and these things to try to prove their point. You did the same thing, you hypocrite. <laughs> but no, I didn't. I said Matrix Lord Two One Two thinks that this is going to happen, not. This is what happens. Now, if you can't distinguish that, then that, that is an issue. Now, we we went at it the other day. Finally, you know, and I'm like, well, Billy, um, Agent Shields is an alternate reality. No, it's not. Well, they Billy. They it inside the, the critique. So Nerdist said with Ch Jessica, right? Shut up. Right, she said it was an alter reality. No, it's not. So uh, it's fun for me because I'm like, I know it's an alter reality. So I'm like, well, let me get the interview with the creator of Ages of Shield. Mm -hmm. the, the creator. Creator, the one yes. that concocted the whole show. Mm hmm. Creator, Josh Whedon, right? Josh Whedon said, alternate reality. No, it's not. What else do you need? Like, you want them to flat out say. And they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Uh -uh. Would anybody flat out say certain shit? No. No way. No way. Which is fine. You want to believe whatever you want to believe. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to drop it. But common sense, you have to think of it this way, right? Captain America, this is Avengers Endgame spoilers, right? You have to, someone has to give up their soul to get, for someone to get the gem, right? Yeah. Someone has to die, right? To get the gem, right? Thanos killed Gamora to get the gem. Mm -hmm. Something he lost. Right? So, Black Widow died, and they got the gem. Now, there's no rule book that says that they have to... Like, in other words, let's just say they didn't travel two times. And let's just say they had the gem. There's no rule book that says that gem has to go back. Right? Now, there is a rule with the time travel... There's a rule with the time travel that the gems have to be put back where they were found, right? But that timeline, you know, like that timeline basically got wiped anyway. But okay, so it's got, but the rule applies like both ways. You don't just give like someone an all powerful gem. Without getting something back in return. Yeah, like, it's, it's like not... Yeah. Listen, you want to keep this gem in this place where people have to get the gem again and sacrifice themselves again. Well, okay. I'm going to give you the gem back, but I want Black Widow. Mm -hmm. So, you give up something you love. A soul. Black Widow yeah. comes back with Cap. He gives her his device and he goes back to... They both, you know, whatever, whatever, or something, whatever. She's back. That's it. Why? Maze question. I understand Thanos is defeated, right? And this is where my theory comes in, right? Cap wouldn't do that. Well, Cap went in the past and had a fling with Agent Carter and got married. He wasn't supposed to do uh, that either. He went back to the past. To where two of them met, so how can you call it an affair? No, but what I'm saying is he he wasn't supposed to do that either. He wasn't supposed I to. Know. But he did. He didn't give a shit. So why would you think that if he didn't play by the rules before, why would he not try to get his friends back to life? Why wouldn't he? And why is it so hard to understand that he would pop the Red Skull in the mouth because the Red Skull is a Nazi? And even yeah. if the Red Skull says, I don't remember, whatever, he's still going to beat him up because 
He's a Nazi. They had a uh -huh. world war. He killed thousands of people. I understand for the timeline, yes, you got to give him the gem back. But, oh, he ain't going to make it easy. No. And even the Russos, when they wrote that speech, it was like, them, they started like in a way like laughing, like, oh, this is ridiculous that we wrote this. Of course, there probably is a battle. They changed it. They said, yeah, mm -hmm. this is probably a battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and let me ask you a question, Billy. You're saying I don't do my research. Oh, well, let me tell you, I do do my research. Oh, yes, it's true. I do a lot of research. I don't just look at the articles. I look at every damn article there is, and I read comics, and... Forget about it. I go for every type of thing there is. And things got hot and heavy past couple of days. Because it, it was found out that the writers of Endgame did not agree with the Russo brothers about that whole Captain America ending. Really? Because it contradicted their rules established of time travel. So, of course... Majority rules, or Russo's rule, they just got to write what they're told or else they won't be there, period. But when you ask the same question to both, they both have a completely different answer to the same movie. The yeah. Russo's believe, there's two, two things that were stated. One, one party believes that Cap was inside the actual MCU, not changing a thing. And then just aging to get caught up to meet them with, there, which wouldn't make any sense because the recall device would be called be zapped back. Like he has to go zap back on the transmat thing. So obviously yeah. he doesn't have it. It got destroyed or whatever. He appears in a park bench. Kind of impossible that he's in the same exact timeline without altering anything. When they say if you do anything different, you're going to create a new timeline. So there's one party. I'm not sure if it's the Russo. I think the Russo is believed that it's the um, main timelines. And I think the writers believe, I could be wrong, it could be reversed. But, and then the writers believe, oh no, our time travel rules is in a different timeline. So the directors and the writers have two completely different ideas. So who do you believe, the directors or the writers? So now we do have a mess on our hands because in it, it, because people had to have it a certain way, like the Russos, and maybe it was the wrong way, it caused some issues with people with the film. Because they're like, well, if Captain America's why is he so selfish? Like, why, you know, like, why did he do that yeah. at the risk of everything? And yes, we, of course, I want to see Cap with Agent Carter. I've been from day one, I said it. But I want it to be where it makes sense. And it's not that he acts out of character. Because right. the, the Russos want it that way. I mean, look, you don't establish a rule and then you break the rule. Because then anything goes. Yeah. Now, they, they kind of wanted to tell me something about Far From Home. Spoiler, I didn't want to know about it. Because, again, I want to be surprised with Far From Home. You know, I don't... But supposedly, you want to be spoiled, but to but not to a certain extent. No, I don't want the whole movie spoiled. No, but supposedly there's something in there that's going to contradict everything. I don't know. So, Billy, uh, and probably. I am going to pick apart your no fighting. I'm going to pick apart your whole um, paragraphs, but I'm not going to do it tonight, and I'm not going to do it tomorrow because again, I want to get what I plan today out and tomorrow is my book anniversary. So I'm going to focus on that. So I'm positive and do my book anniversary, seeing Game of Thrones and all that stuff. I will address this during the week because again, I, I don't, I'm not mad ordinarily. I probably would be really pissed, but I'm not mad at all. Maybe it's because I've got good things happening. I don't know, but it has to be addressed. It's not going to be let go. I'm going to definitely address all your concerns. Um, I understand that you've been giving me tons and tons of advice on how you think this YouTube channel should be run. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not listening to not one thing you say because I'm doing it my way, like Frank Sinatra said. So thank you. But after 8,000 videos, I'm going to do it the way I usually do it. So that's it. I mean, thank you for your advice, but I can choose not to take it. <laughs> um, and again, we predict a lot of things on here. It comes true. Not everything has to come true. 
and that's why we're human. We're not perfect. Yeah. But yes, fully expect me, Scott, Chris, we're going to be doing tons of podcasts. And yes, we do our research. So whatever. But anyway, I still can't believe men just dropped 70. Wow, 74%. That worries me a little bit. So we need to have pom poms like step in there, like the book club. Yes, we're live. I know. I'm just talking like whatever. That's a little word about I, that. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Could it be that the ending really pissed off people more than we thought? Probably. That they're like, oh, this is bullshit. I mean, I was like, hope not. Okay, there's Cap. Huh? Or they were upset that there was no, uh, uh, no uh, end credit thing. That might be another thing. I mean, because because we've gotten so accustomed to having an end, an ending, cre- end credit, that when this movie didn't have one, people are going, okay. I can tell you right now, I'm pretty sure Scott that 100 percent of the population didn't care because they had to pee. Yeah, I think you want to be frank. You want to be. Lot logic, you want to be whatever. You have to pee. It's three yeah. hours and two minutes. I, I would die. Like no more. Like that, at that point in time, everybody is like, "That's a lot." Please don't give us an after credit scene this one time. And I completely agree with that, Scott. So I don't think I didn't even hear anybody complain about it. Really, did you? No, but I mean, I, I'm just try, I'm just trying to come up with some little thing. I they, honestly think it was a Captain America that, thing. That, or there, it's like the same stuff with the... Dude, it's a Captain, Captain America thing. It's like, okay, how did he get there? Right. And they started questioning that, and they didn't like the, how that was came about. See, but this is, this is what I'm talking about. Then people get mad when I say that... Even Billy gets mad when I say, oh, um, Pepper is going to try to... Um, bring Tony Stark back and put him on ice, and you know, he was she would never yeah. do. But then Captain America went and had fun. So what are you talking about? Of course she would. That's her husband. Yeah. Don't give me this crap. She wouldn't. She did it in the comics. Things were done in the comics. No, they love him. Of course. Of course, if there was a way to save him, of course. I don't care if it's the MCU. What do you think? They they tried to save Black Widow. They're like, oh, we got to do that. No, we can't. I'm telling you, don't don't give me that. These people are not heartless. You think it's like, oh, we beat Thanos and that's it? No, that's lazy. If there's a way to save Black Widow, they'll go in a Quinjet and they'll take care of that. Yeah, they'll do it in a heartbeat. Captain America is a living proof. The guy that's noble, the guy that is worthy, the guy that's whatever, at the end of the day, he did what he wanted to do. Screw it, man. I beat that on whatever. I'm going to get a wife and like I'm going to get Agent Carter. And I don't care. And if he did it, you, you think it's wrong for Peggy? You think it's wrong for um Pepper to like try to save Tony? What are you, crazy? Get out yeah, of here. On. Come on. Come on. Why would it be so bad? See, a lot of times people feed into the bullshit. Like when the writers are talking or the, or the director and it's like, oh, the culmination, they have to die. And there's like, no bullshit. No, the only reason you're culminating is because you don't want to pay more than $75 million. That's not. That's right. Let's be honest. That's not. There's no bullshit about that. It's just people just don't want to pay more than 75 That's ridiculous. No. You don't have to die. Like you don't. When you do these comic storylines, you have to kill the person. Why can't you be a good enough writer to just write something where you don't have to kill everybody all the time? What's the problem? Like, Black Widow, first of all, how stupid is that? She's got her own movie, like you kill her off? That's dumb. That is the stupidest thing I've ever yeah. heard. Two to that- one, they're going to do the movie. They're, gonna t- they're probably going to prove that uh, something that Cap did in Endgame actually saved her, but they want to save it for the Black Widow movie in order to prove it. They want him to suit up again. Yeah. He's like, no. They want him to suit up again. They don't give a shit about what happened in Endgame. You want to be Cap again? We want to tell you a story. We want to have a whole movie of you. No, thanks. He doesn't want to do it. They said it. The writers said it. Freaking Russo said it. They want him to do another movie. 
The hell with the Avengers? How do you want Captain America movie? He's Steve probably Rogers. Yeah, I know. He's probably just feeling, you know, I did my stint. Right. I want to I want to go on a hot I want to go I want to do what Seinfeld did, go out on top note, and I'm I did this character for X number of years. I just want to break, break from right. from the show. Come on, give me that. That's it. You do you want me to do it to the point to where you get burnt out so much to where people says, Yeah, uh he should have he should have copped out X number of movies ago. But he wants to go, No, I'm done. I've had my fun. Let me go do something else. I'm done with the yes. genre of movie. You have the block. It's, he, it's not it's not the granted, the actor makes the character, but it's the character that you, you could get anybody in there. Granted, it's going to be tough for people to relate to this character done by another actor. Right. But still, anybody anybody can do Captain America, just like anybody can do uh, Iron Man. You just Granted, you have to find the right person, but if a person gets tired of the, playing it, let him. Do, let him go take his rest. Yes. And, if he, and if he changes his mind later right. on, fine. He can come back. Anytime. But until then, let the, let the actor just go. I want a vacation. Just right. give me my vacation. Chris Hemsworth did that. Yeah. Because he realized his relationship with his kids yeah. was getting messed up. You heard about that, right? Yeah. His, his marriage was getting messed up. Like he he went to represent his daughter and he did a, a race for her or something. Yeah. And his daughter didn't even see the race because she was mad at him because he was away from her all this time. And he was losing his relationship with his kids. And he's mm -hmm. like, that's it. I'm taking off. That's it. I don't care what my career is. I need to spend time with my kids. I need to spend time with my wife and let her do her career. You know, mm -hmm. you got to take a break sometimes. Because sometimes it gets too much where you never even see yeah. your family. You get you get burned out. I mean, right? And why would people, you want him to do a movie if he's burnt out? And that's the problem. Like, I, I grant, I understand fans have sort of like a torn feeling towards their actors, the towards their people they're fans of. They want to see them constantly up there at the big screen, but yeah. at the same time, it's like oh, you only belong to us. No. How can how how can you feel this way? You're making tons of money. Right, they but, don't know. They don't know. No, it is. That's the way it is. It's it's like you're making all this money. How can you be unhappy? Because well, it doesn't matter if you make a billion dollars. Ultimately, you're away from your kids, you're away from yeah. your wife, you're gonna lose everything. So it doesn't matter about the money, it's about the love. These are not digitally created no. characters. Right. These are human beings, these are people. So until the whole notion of the movie Looker comes about to where the only thing the actor has to do is come in, do the voice work, and blah, 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 then fine. But you're going to get a case. What's Looker? Looker, that's, a, that's an 80, 1981 movie with Albert oh. Finney. Okay. Where he's a, uh, he's a uh, plastic surgeon, and all these uh, clients, these models, are dying. Right. And he gets framed for it. Right. And, and it's a must see movie. Oh, wow. Uh, Trust me. It's a must see movie. It's, this is one of those movies which would work really great today? in today's society mm. with the way we've got YouTube. Okay. So. Yeah. So, anyway, let him take a break. Yes. And Chris Evans. That's, that's it. But again, you don't kill the Black Widow when you're making a Black Widow movie. Like, I don't like, care if it's a prequel. Like, I don't care. But like I say, but like I said, this is what I think they're going to do. They're going, they're granted. It might grant the first of the movie is going to be that, Oh, it's her past. And then, and either at the end or an Easter egg is going to be that it reveals that they, whether they show Captain America or not, who's to say that's prerogative altogether. But at the credit, probably an ending credit scene is, proves that while Cap was in the past, he actually saves her. Right. So she is now alive. Somewhere. Alive. Yeah. Right. They're keeping they're keeping that under wraps so that right. way when that comes out, it's like, no way. Yeah. The only person that 
would be dead would be Tony Stark, which that I don't even believe completely because after we saw the hologram talking to her directly, the daughter, yeah, I'm like, that's like the comics. That's not over. And so what if he's still alive? You know? Pepper probably did something to, I'm saying either Pepper or his uh, daughter did something to help him come back. Well, I would say Pepper because his daughter's like six or five yeah. or whatever she is. Yeah. All right. Um, what else? It's like all this stuff about the Avengers that I really want to talk about. <laughs> okay, we're getting it. Okay, so this is another thing. Uh, and this is sort of the conflict because people don't, like, hopefully this will mend. But Sony's got a uh, trailer for Spider Man Far From Home on Monday that totally spoils Endgame. Now, by Monday, they're allowed to say whatever. Yeah. Everybody would have seen Endgame already. And I know Marvel's probably not happy that you're going to put a trailer out giving away Endgame. Mm -hmm. Could you just do a trailer without doing that, maybe? Yeah. So, I don't know, because I'm almost going to want, you know, I don't want this to be spoiled, but then I do, because it's like, what the hell is this monumental event that's in this movie that people are like yeah. losing their shit over and with Far From Home that is going to totally change your whole entire train of thought of the whole Marvel MCU? Like, what is this? So, obviously, I'm going to see the trailer Monday. So, we're going to see what that is. Um, again, I think Sony and Marvel need to play nice because... Yeah, same here. You know, you in it... In it Long run, you need to work together so both properties are making the most money you can possibly be. And you can't be like, oh, well, screw it. We're spoiling Endgame because we're going to promote our, promote our product. No. You're both Marvel properties. It's like, you know. Does it doesn't matter if one side owns one and the other side owns right. it's the other. You're both, in mind, you're both both Marvel properties. Right. There's a sort of respect like, hey, man, don't spoil my movie, you know? That's not nice. So that's my take on that. All right. I'm not going to talk about anything else because I want to make sure that I research Ooh. what I'm talking about so that you get the full effect of what I'm saying. So when I research something, it's with 100% accuracy. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that's right. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to read, research, and when I'm done, I'm I'll read be back. Search. Come on, come on. You're going to read, search. I'm going to read, search. Read Richards. <laughs> Zapping Captain America back. I'm going to read, search. The second there when he said hypocrite, I'm like, he called me a hippo, that son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, he reads up there, I'm like, I'm like, sure, I know I gained 10 pounds, but so <laughs> bitch, Billy! <laughs> it's like, oh, there's a crit. Hypocrite. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I think, yeah. Maybe because I use that scale. Stay away from scale. In like 10 pounds. So. Scales are bad. That was, a lot of, that was a lot of groceries, right, Sharon? Been using up yet lately. Well, I admit it, I gained 10 pounds. What are you going to do? All right. Scales Hippo. lie. Hippocrite, Chris. <laughs> okay. All right, Billy. I'm gearing up for your mother. Better be on your toes. I want you 100% because Monday. <laughs> it's on like Donkey Kong, bro. You want clickbait? You want some entertainment? Billy's getting roasted on Monday. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Bye for now.